Did 343 just confirm there's a separate store along with the Battle Pass for Halo Infinite? How 343 just hired on a VR expert and also some flighting news update for you guys as well for Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So with the news that we have for you guys today, it seems to confirm that there's going to be a separate store along with the Battle Pass for Halo Infinite. How it seems like 343 is either doing, trying to do like a VR thing for MCC or potentially Halo Infinite. And we get a little bit of news when it comes to the flighting process for Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, I want to save today with everything going on with Halo as a wrap up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So maybe some of you have not known that 343 has also been uploading along with these Inside Infinite monthly blog updates, but Tashi, the head of HCS at 343, the competitive side of things of Halo, has also been uploading monthly blog updates talking about what they're going to try to achieve with competitive Halo coming in Halo Infinite. And this month's blog update goes into the teams of HCS and Halo Infinite in general and how they're doing with a different kind of mindset, which is great to hear within this blog that they're looking at a more team focused experience, allowing them to have like their own sponsors shown on stream and things like that to be more supportive because Previously within competitive Halo, we've seen a lot of issues with teams coming and going. They're trying to make teams stay with Halo Infinite. They kind of give a little more credibility to the entire HCS experience. And they talked about having partnered teams along with open bracket teams as well. These partnered teams get a little bit extra credibility, a little bit extra promotional kind of experience through HCS to kind of get them to just stay within the ecosphere a little bit more, make teams want to be part of Halo. So I think this is a really good move by 343, but there's one really interesting thing I want to point out that came out within this blog update, guys, that actually directly affects your customization options and also seems to confirm a store for Halo Infinite. So in the blog update they mentioned here specifically, at this point you might be wondering exactly what it means for a team to be in a partnership program. Well, to start, each partner team has designed their own in-game content which can be sold in the game on day one of Halo Infinite's release, with more drops releasing over time. Of course, teams will receive a significant portion of the revenue from each sale. Additionally, we are looking to enable teams to create as much content as possible to drive interest in the league. So yeah, that confirms that we're gonna see similar things that we had like Halo 5's competitive scene around with like the custom weapon scans. So we're gonna see that with Halo Infinite, but I think we're gonna see a lot more of customization for those specific teams within the game itself. And I think we're gonna have more items, but I think it's gonna come at a bit of a cost as well. As it seems Seems like it's going to be a part of a store for Halo Infinite. So it's not going to be just the battle pass where you get all your unlocks or the fracture event that will come along with it. There's also going to be a separate store it seems like where you'll be able to purchase items that you'd like to have for your Spartan. This reminds me an awful lot of these CDL skins for the Call of Duty League that you can purchase within Call of Duty right now. As you can see a nice little image right here showcasing the different types of customization. They're all kind of the same thing with just some logos and colors. Interesting thing here, it actually mentions a price point. It seems like each pack costs ten dollars for you to own and it was a little example of in-game what it looks like to get your guys's little uh customization that you would like for your halo infinite spartan if you so choose to for the competitive scene i think we're gonna see a big push for competitive in halo infinite which i'm really looking forward to i've always loved competitive halo i really loved like towards the end of halo 5 we just didn't really quite get this time to shine with the proper settings within the league there but i think what 343 is doing right now to try to give better support for these teams that can keep them within halo I think this is something that's gonna be very awesome. So you're probably also wondering now, okay, so you get to have your own colors, the logos, but what kind of comes with these certain packs? I'm expecting to see very similar content within Halo Infinite. So for example, we'll have the Atlanta phase, which have been Call of Duty, you guys don't know, their teams are franchised. So these teams are permanent with Halo Infinite. They're not gonna have that. They're gonna be like separate entities. But with these partner teams are gonna be sticking with Halo, you'll be seeing things like weapon scans, cart, probably armor coatings as well. They have different kind of attachments or different kind of bits of customization, like a charm ring here which you do know charms are going to be in Halo Infinite as well for customization. They have stickers, different kind of emblems and things like that. So I think a little bit more on the side of being able to flex your favorite team within Halo Infinite's competitive scene, you'll be able to do that within the game itself, which is awesome. I think it'll help create a little bit more sense of a community and people trying to rep it and people getting a chance to see that thing like, whoa, that's a really cool weapon skin or that's a cool armor coating what you have. How'd you get that? Well, I got this because this is like the 
uh, envious or the sentinels uh, weapon skin that you guys can pick up in the sh in the shop. I'm okay with these bits of monetization as well because they do go back to support the teams which these teams you know jumping in the halo I'm sure they're taking probably a little bit of a financial hit to it but they're probably getting a lot of rec name recognition with that as well so you get to support some content creators, guys trying to push the competitive scene of gaming a little bit more into the forefront of things so it's not getting out of the basement and into the mainstream kind of thing. Next we have a bit of news about 343 hiring a modder, specifically a VR modder, onto the team. So 343 recently hired on Zach Fannin, also known as Nibri, if that's how you pronounce the name. He's been doing VR mods for Alien Isolation and the Master Chief Collection as well. Now this is very familiar of 343 to hire modding members of the community to bring onto the team like they did with Halo Online mod team that brought the El Dorito mod while well, they actually brought him on to help work on MCC. So could we see a similar thing here with hiring a VR mod expert onto the MCC team most likely? He's been working on what's been called the Reclaimer VR right here where basically he's been trying to work on making the MCC games 1 through 4 and I'm assuming Reach as well compatible for VR experiences. Now it could be very likely that they might be looking to put MCC on VR which would be really freaking cool because I would absolutely love for that to happen because I have a VR headset I just don't really use it a whole lot but you put Halo on it well I might start using it a bit more. I do remember that there was like a Halo event a while ago or a Halo exhibit that had the HoloLens utilizing which kind of like an augmented reality slash VR headset. It was kind of more for like a one-time event kind of thing but if we see like MCC kind of VR or potentially even work for Halo Halo Infinite coming to VR, now that would be really freaking awesome. And lastly guys, we have a little bit of news when it comes to the Halo Infinite flighting process. I think this also kind of ties into what we were talking about earlier with HGS saying that later this season, they'll be revealing who these teams are, which it seems like later in the summer seems to be a big time frame for Halo. Community manager John Unishek replies to a user saying, when are Halo Infinite flights happening, John? It says, PSA Halo Infinite multiplayer technical preview details will be made known ahead of time. It will not be a surprise. Make sure to register on Halo Insider. He also goes on to reply back to his own comment saying, We're constantly evaluating the flighting build just like we do with the MCC flights and the exact timing is dictated by development realities. That said, once we have a firm date locked in, we'll let you all know. So that lets us know guys that the flight is currently being tested right now. They're just trying out, iron out all the bugs that we've seen previously with MCC. I think we're kind of in that same state where like they're just kind of ironing out everything to make sure that when it goes out to the public, it's in a playable state or at least playable enough of a state to where they can get some data that they want to grab. Since he keeps referring to this now as more of a technical preview rather than like a flight, they keep saying technical preview and pressing that verbiage. It makes me feel like this is more just like a tech demo of showcasing what Halo Infinite can do, stress testing the networking that goes along with Halo Infinite's multiplayer as well. And not exactly being like a discussion flight that we've had previously with MCC, where players report on bugs, you know, then 343 acts upon them, they do some more tweaking, we go back and forth and kind of have this bit of like a discussion. They keep saying technical preview, so I think it's still phrasing it under flights, but I think it's gonna be more about the stress testing of systems rather than testing out whether or not guns are good or not. Now, of course, I'm sure 343 would be all, all ears when it comes to taking any kind of criticisms when it comes to weapon balance or anything like that. It's things absolutely need to be changed. So I believe this is gonna be more just making sure that the game functions properly. So if you've been on loop for Halo news for the last few days or so, I got a playlist right here that keeps you up to date up and uploading every day, giving you some more Halo news. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, check out that playlist right there. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.